How can I, kindly, address my husband's horrible hygiene habits? My, 30, F, husband, 30, M, and I have been married 2.5 years, together 6 plus. I love him dearly and with all my heart, but he is a smelly, gross caveman. He has been working from home for the past year and has lost all semblance of a basic hygiene routine. Not that his habits were great to begin with. He will literally go days without showering, brushing his teeth, or using deodorant. He never combs his hair anymore, so he sheds dead hair everywhere. He never shaves anymore, either. He will wear the same clothes for days on end. He sleeps in his contact lenses for weeks. Really bad, I know. The only time he will take care of himself is if we are seeing friends or family, which is obviously not often because of COVID. To boot, his bathroom is absolutely atrocious. Thank God we have separate bathrooms, because his is covered in thick, dark hairs all over the sink, floors, etc. Worst of all, his toilet is constantly covered in a layer of, a hem backslash residue. How can someone who doesn't shower slash take care of himself possibly make such a mess in the bathroom, of all places? I have tried so many different ways, with varying degrees of gentleness, to ask him to change his habits, babe. Did you remember to brush your teeth today? I'm getting really concerned and I think we should talk about it. Are you feeling okay? These are kinda classic symptoms of depression. You stink please for the love of God get in the shower, etc. His mother just had four teeth removed in an emergency surgery, and is missing several other teeth, as a result of poor oral hygiene. I would think that would be a really scary wake up call, at least for his oral hygiene habits but nothing has changed. I'm at my wit's end and I'm ready to start sleeping in the guest bedroom. What are some ways I can handle this? What are some kind but effective words that I can use? How can I be a good partner without feeling like I have to mother him? Too long didn't read, please help me to help my husband improve his smelly, gross ways. I mean at this point he must know that he stinks and it grosses you out, he just doesn't care. So I don't really see much else that can be done. You have to decide if you're okay w this. First you do not kindly address his habits. You address it directly and bluntly with examples and how those examples have an impact. You also might have to accept that he will not change and decide if you want to live with somebody who has poor hygiene the rest of your life. Sounds like you're already doing it kindly and it hasn't worked. It's time to scorch the earth, sleep in the guest room. When he asks why, tell him exactly why. Stop kissing him. When he asks why, tell him exactly why. You have given him zero consequences for his choices. He needs a depression assessment and you need to stop being nice. How is your sex life? If the lack of sex isn't cluing him in on the issue it's likely a lost cause. Or are you still having sex with the smelly caveman? Yup I would just be blunt and call a spade a spade. Until you start taking care of yourself I'm sleeping in the other room and you can forget about sex. You can find 30 minutes per day to shower, shave and brush your teeth. This is neither difficult or unreasonable. I think due diligence requires you escalate the depression conversation. Whether or not his hygiene is born of bad growing up habits, this is worse enough. What does he say when you suggest depression? If you made an appointment with his doc, and brought him there, would he go? Would he be honest? Thank you for emphasizing this, it's something that's been on my mind, but he is from a culture of nothing is ever wrong, and if it is, it's not a big deal. So it's very hard for me to gauge the situation, which is maybe why I'm making such a big deal about this because it might be one of the only symptom I would ever truly see. This is where professional help might be necessary. My, 35F, husband, 36M, never has time for me and rushes through everything we do. My husband and I have been together for six years. I will never forget early on in our relationship I was cooking us breakfast while he was in the other room, and he came into the kitchen and said I shouldn't be out there, I should be helping you cook. I always did this in past relationships being off doing my own thing I thought it was sweet. Over the years he has had a physically demanding and time consuming job he wants to leave and has been studying and learning new things trying to figure out 
about what he want to do. It was in this that we sometimes didn't spend any time together for lengths of time besides eating dinner, never went out anywhere, etc. I felt like I was supposed to be supportive, and I wanted to be supportive, I was fine with it after a while that we hardly spent time together if it helped him. As time went on, his limited available time occurred even when he wasn't being productive on his personal work, like if he had a month where he was kind of slacking off. He doesn't normally slack off though he really does keep at it most of the time. These days we have scheduled time together after dinner every day. It lasts under an hour usually. It's frustrating though because he rushes through me. If I want to show him something he will rush me. It's never natural time together. No matter whether he's being productive or not. I talk to him about it, I say things like you're always rushing me, even if you're not busy working on your stuff and all I get is a shut up like does not work with me at all on the issue. I don't say anything every day or anything like that. Tonight was the first time in a long time that I even said anything. As I mentioned we only spend about an hour together. We were watching a show for about 20 minutes and when it ended we were talking about something and I was going to bring up a trailer and he interrupts me saying we going to get to the second episode. Like he couldn't even watch a two minute trailer with me. He wants to wait until tomorrow to see it. Like it's scheduled in. I am constantly hurried. Even when we would go out somewhere, which is rare. Sometimes I feel like he just takes me for granted and that's what this is. I don't know how to not be taken for granted. When he acted like that I communicated to him as I said above and I got up and did something else. Then there's what he told me in the beginning of this post. I told him tonight I feel he's selfish with his time. I've also brought it up that he told me that. I am also someone who can occupy themselves and have plenty else to do, so I am not relying on him to entertain me or anything like that. He is my husband and it's like he doesn't want to give me any time. An hour is fine but the strict schedule always feels like a time limit. Edited typo added info. Too long didn't read, my husband is selfish with his time and rushes through being with me, is there anything I can do? I will never forget early on in our relationship I was cooking us breakfast while he was in the other room, and he came into the kitchen and said I shouldn't be out there, I should be helping you cook, I always did this in past relationships being off doing my own thing I thought it was sweet. This may have sounded sweet at the time, but in hindsight, it was a warning. This is how he treats his partners. Once he feels secure in the relationship, he stops prioritizing them. You're no different. He wants to have a partner while still being able to schedule himself like he's single, doing only the bare minimum to keep you from walking out. He thinks he's doing that in checking the spend an hour with the wife box. It doesn't matter if the time feels good for you, only that he gets to say he did it and use it to shut down your complaints. I'd be assuming this who he will continue to be, and making your choices accordingly. Your husband orders you to shut up. Get therapy and figure out how to get out of a pursue a distance a dance. Start living for yourself. He may decide that since your energy is more scarce since it's not centered on chasing him, that it's more valuable. Then he might be more generous. Or, he may not. You could decide that you've outgrown him after doing work on yourself. Either way, therapy will help you grow as a person and handle whatever comes your way. I don't know how you married him when the relationship has always been like this. I'm so sorry, I don't even know what to say. Maybe couples counseling would help, but I'm sure he's not willing to commit to that either. You deserve to be happy, and if he doesn't make you happy and he isn't willing to try, maybe it's time to consider your options. I'm really sorry, I know this must be difficult. You tell him how you feel and he tells you to shut up. Yeah that's not okay at all. I think my boyfriend is lying about where he gets his money from. I think my boyfriend is lying about where he gets his money from. Hi, this is a new account as my BF follows my old one and I don't know how to post anonymously. So I, F22, have been seeing this guy, 
M27, for like five months now. He doesn't have a job because he was supposed to leave the country but Covid delayed things so he lives with his parents. He's a great guy and treats me well and I know he doesn't really have money but that doesn't bother me. However, I noticed a pattern of having money on the weekends. This is really hard to explain but I'll try. So for example he'll mention he's broke on Wednesday and by Saturday he'd tell me he has money now and would take me out to dinner or get me something fancy or even gifts me some money that BTW I've never asked for. I asked him where he gets the money from and he said his mom and uncle help him out but I'm not buying it because 1. His mum isn't rich enough to be giving him that kind of money every weekend. 2. If his uncle does give him money will it be every weekend? Why not weekdays? Why even give him money all the time when he has no bills? I've asked him to please be honest with me but he swears it's the truth and got really upset the third time I asked. He also mentioned that he's really bad with money so when his mum gives him money, he lends it out to his friends in a way of saving and they pay him back when he's really broke. It didn't make make any sense but I let it go. But something happened last weekend that has been bugging me, he was lying on my lap when and was on his phone. I wasn't snooping but when I glanced, I saw he was on his banking app and saw he had some money in his account. It wasn't a lot but it was still something that a normal person, especially with no job, shouldn't spend in two days but he asked if I could get him lunch on Tuesday, I sometimes help him out, so I reminded him that he told me he had some money over the weekend, I didn't mention I saw the amount, and he said the money has finished. Something about this whole thing is bugging me. I don't understand what exactly but something feels off. Am I overthinking things? Too long didn't read, I really suspect my boyfriend isn't being honest about where he gets his money and I'm really worried. Edit, so I was reluctant to add this information because I don't want it to seem like I'm judging him with his past but he used to have a gambling problem. It almost ruined his life and he said he no longer gambles and hasn't gambled in two years but he also didn't get professional help. He believes he's capable of doing things on his own so I guess I'm afraid the gambling hasn't stopped. My ex used to be this way. Turned out he was ripping people off. Example, Hey bro, wanna buy some really good weed slash heroin slash etc? Yeah dude. Cool man. I'll need the money up front to go get it. Proceeds to give him money to go get it, disappears with the money. Boom. He has money. Loads of people get paid on Friday. It's possible his family is getting their own paychecks and giving him a portion. We really can't help you though, beyond speculating. You need to talk to him. Okay, so, he fucked up his life and now he's an out of work guy mooching off his family. Sure, he could be gambling, or he could be selling drugs or pimping himself out. But I think a more reasonable explanation is that his uncle feels sorry for him and, to give him some semblance of a normal life, tosses him a few bucks here and there, and then he burns through that money, because that's how he is with money. He's 27 and really bad with money, jobless, and living with his mom. There is no future in this relationship. Could be be gambling on games slash sports that only pan out at the end of the week, sure. But the simplest explanation is that his family gives him some kind of allowance, maybe even intended specifically for weekend fun, and he budgets it seemingly strangely. EA tells himself he won't spend on certain days or past a certain point, but it's all whatevs until that point. Maybe even sets some of it aside to gamble.